coach Jacques Nienabar, and to his right, Captain Sia Khaleesi. Um, please raise your hand very clearly, and we'll start with questions from the floor, please. At the front, thank you. Thank you, Jacques. Sia, uh, Jan de Kuning, I think you all know me. Um, Jacques, uh, goal kicking now becomes a legitimate question. Yeah, um, no, obviously, they were hats off to Ireland. They were better than us on the day. And uh, yes, I think we, uh, we missed a couple of points off the tee. And, uh, but I won't say that that's the reason solely for, for not uh, getting across the line. I think we, in the first half alone, we, we lost two balls close to the try line. I think probably a metre off the try line. And we had another two opportunities later on in the game. So I think that four opportunities and uh, the opportunities we have to get points off the tee uh, is probably the reason why. But I, I won't say it's only goal kicking. But I, I know you guys will probably say that. But there is, there was opportunities that we had, uh, especially in that first half where we lost the ball underneath the poles. We had a great opportunity there. And then at the back end of the game, um, the last more. I mean, we had a great opportunity there. But and again, that's why I say hats off to Ireland. They were better than us on the night, and uh, no complaints in terms of their performance. Yeah. My follow-up question: uh, Does this bring Pollard into the mix? Yeah, that we'll have to uh, sit down uh, and discuss. I mean, there's lots of things that go into team selection. Probably get the medical status uh, uh, after the probably after 24 to 48 hours. We've got an eight-day turnaround, and then we'll go th through our team selection process as per normal. Thank you, gentlemen on the second row. Please, just one second. Go ahead. Thank you. Um, Jock, um, this is Nathan Kukela um, from South African Media. Um, you guys obviously chose a few of the fetches on the, on the bench with a 7-1 split. Um, you guys lost 12 um, uh, co uh, contacts in breakdown. Um, so can you just comment on that? Um, obviously losing so many, so many ball in, in the breakdown. Uh, yes, I think that's the one area where... We, uh, Ireland, were exceptional, ex exceptional tonight. I mean, uh, that that's probably one of the biggest reasons why we didn't get momentum is we we were we were overpowered at our own attacking breakdown, and that's the opportunities we lost close to the try line. Yeah, hundred percent correct. Thank you, gentlemen. There, please. Uh, Jock Hendrik Kronje from uh, Report. How can you fix the problems at the breakdowns? I will just try hard and get better at it. We knew it was coming, Hendrik. Uh, it's something that they do regularly. So it's not something that we didn't know was coming. And we thought uh, we obviously um, made some plans during the week that we thought would, would negate their, their uh, tactics at the breakdown, their defensive breakdown. And, uh, but, but obviously... Uh, it didn't work consistently. So, and that's probably the lessons we will take out of this game, as we will have to make new plans uh, on how to deal with that better. Thank you. Just one second, please. This translation. Okay, go ahead. Raise your hand. Thank you. Uh, Sir, for you, um, Ireland's so good at the breakdown. Um, yourself being at the cold face of that, how are they different to other teams? Are they, are they more accurate? Are they more intense? What are they doing that other teams aren't doing? Yeah, I thought they were they were more accurate than us um, today, and they were a bit faster in the breakdown. But as Jack said, we we knew it was coming. Obviously, we were attacking so well, and we got to the 22 when we could have um, gained points. The opportunities that we lost were all through um, the breakdown, <clears throat> and obviously that's that's us as players. We take full responsibility of that. We'll obviously hopefully meet them again, or and obviously we have to be better going next week against Tonga. But I thought. They were, they were a little bit quicker than us, and that's why they were able to get those opportunities. Thank you. Gentlemen, the second row, please. Hi. Sia, were you surprised that uh, Ireland chose the, the line out rather than the points in the, in the first half? No, no, I wasn't surprised at all. Um, you obviously, they showed the, the, the intent on what they wanted to do, and we obviously we were ready for it too um, uh, um, as a group. Thank you. Gentlemen over there, please. Thank you. 
good evening uh, at the top table and hard luck on the result. Um, Jacques, when you look at the toughness of this particular group, where does this particular result leave your chances for the quarterfinals? Now, obviously, uh, like I mentioned, the, the, this game would have, uh, whoever won this game, it will take a little bit of pressure off them going into the last round. And uh, obviously that pressure is now on us. We've got a big game in eight days. Tonga had to get out of the pool. And uh, yeah, uh, so that's the, the solely sole thing that we will focus on. Like, uh, the lucky thing for us is we've got a, a eight day turnaround to prepare for, for, for Tonga. So uh, we, can, we will do a proper review on the game and look at the areas that we feel uh, didn't go our way and what plans worked and what plans didn't work. And then we will uh, take it from there. Thank you. Just one second, please. John. OK, gentlemen on the left, please. Jack, what was the thinking behind um, taking so many long shots at goal when your line out was working so well and you weren't kicking up goal so accurately all the time? Uh, the kicking at goal is always, I think, in all teams. I mean, if your kicker is confident, then he can go for it. And uh, the captain asks him, listen, are you confident? And he wants to take the kick at goal. We, we will. He takes the kick at goal. And... Um, yeah, so it's as easy as that. Say so if they are confident that they can nail it, they, they, they go for it. Like Faf were confident from the halfway line, he was kicking it good in the warm up. Uh, he unfortunately hit the post. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you. Jet on the left, please. Question in French, please. Il y a de grandes chances que vous jouiez un quart de finale contre l'équipe de France. Euh, quel regard avez-vous sur le, le parcours de l'équipe de France, sur euh, la blessure d'Antoine Dupont Est-ce que, euh, voilà, est que vous avez déjà analysé un petit peu ça Uh, no, I haven't analyzed them yet. Uh, we've got Tonga. We, if, we, if we slip up against Tonga, uh, we won't even get to a quarterfinal. So for us to start thinking about France will be, in my opinion, a little bit uh, getting ahead of ourselves. So we will probably stay, uh, just focus on Tonga for now. And uh, then we will make a plan after that. I think we've got our uh, off week after Tonga, so we've got a nice time to prepare for whoever plays, who will play in that quarter final. And um, regarding Anthony DePont's injury, yeah, obviously it's, uh, it's like us uh, losing Malcolm Marks. You know, like I said last week this time, I said it won't be the only injury. Uh, injuries is unfortunately part of it and it's it's a loss for him and it's a loss for uh, I believe he would be back uh, at the back end of the the, the competition and I, and I hope he is because I think uh, in a World Cup you want the best players playing in a World Cup uh, so it will be fortunate if he can uh, make it back thank you good two questions over here please thank you hi Jack um, commiserations what do you think the quality, intensity and pace of that test match will do for both of these teams as the tournament goes on? I think I said it uh, in the pre-match uh, uh, interviews. I said I think a lot of the, uh, both of our teams will take a lot out of this game because it will be played at, at, uh, at, at a massive intensity and physicality and you will be tested mentally. I think a, a couple of our players, a guy like Marnie, this will probably be the most pressure game that he's ever played in and he'll get better at it. Uh, the same with a guy like Kurtley, it will definitely be his most pressured game. He will get better and, 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 and uh, they will get used to the pressure of playing. This was like a knockout game. This would, this, if, if this was a semi-final or quarter-final or final of a World Cup, I think people, that's what you expect when you play in those knockout games. So I think from a team perspective, we will, we would obviously got good preparation out of it in terms of the intensity and the physicality. Unfortunately, we didn't get the result. And, um, uh, and the same for them. Thank you. Gentlemen on the second row, please. Uh, See, so yeah, this is for you. Um, just on a player's perspective, just give us your thoughts on the game. There are points that have been consist um, con consistent in terms of the goal kicking. Um, we saw it again today, but what do you guys do moving forward now in order, in order for you guys to be successful in all those all those facets that everyone has mentioned here today? 
Yeah, we obviously going to work on it. I mean, as Jock said, we didn't lose a game in one department. There were a lot of, I mean, we gave away, I think, 12 penalties. Yeah. And a lot of them were in the breakdown. Some attacking and some uh, defensive breakdown. So you can't blame one specific area. We've got to get better. And we created such good opportunities. And then we go to the 22 and we didn't take those opportunities. And in a game like this, in a level like this, if you don't take those opportunities, um, this is what happens. But I thought... Quite a few things went well. I thought our D was was good, and I think, um, as Jock said, as the the intensity the intensity of the game was exactly what we needed for a lot of the players that have never played under such intensity. I mean, the 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 whole atmosphere was 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 amazing on the field. But we know exactly what we need to do as a group, and uh, we've got to lift our heads. We've got a big game coming next week. I mean, if we for, if we gonna dwell too much on what happened today. And we will forget to, to perform next week because we need to get through that one. And then we can start thinking about afterwards. But Tonga is an important game. Thank you. Go over to the right, please. A gentleman there just in front of you who's been waiting. Thank you. Bonjour. Uh, alors, en français, pour SIA, um, vous avez connu la blessure avant de, avant de jouer cette Coupe du Monde. Comment vous, uh, quel avis vous avez sur la situation d'Antoine Dupont Um, <clears throat> what I'm thinking about is injury. I mean, as Jack said, you don't. You want the best players to be playing, and and in injury um, is part of the game. And as you asked now, mine was before. Um, I didn't know whether I was gonna be here or not. Um, but I know he's gonna uh, like the medical people um, improve so much. The same as the, the game of rugby changes. Um, I'm sure he'll be back. I mean, he's positive uh, about his injury. And yeah, hopefully he gets back because he's important for the French team. Um, yeah, I hope he gets uh, better and he gets back on the field as soon as possible. Thank you. Just one second, please. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, question for Sia. You were obviously led the first group to win the World Cup after losing a match in the pool <laughs> stages. I was wondering how those lessons are going to shape your approach to the rest of this tournament and what you can draw from them. Yeah, we 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 always prepared for any sort of uh, scenario that's going to happen. You know, we speak openly and honestly, and um, we're fortunate to have coaches like Jock and Coach Rassi who say anything can happen, and we knew this this pool is going to be tough. So. Um, we coming in here, we knew that, and before the World Cup, and I think we've been in the same position before. We know we're not going to shy away from it, you know. And the last time we, we told ourselves, you lost the game, don't be done for too long because it's not going to help you anything. The next thing is to focus on Tonga, and we have an eight, 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 eight day turnaround, and that's important. But a lot of us were here the last um, World Cup, and it's important. The quicker you get over it, the better it is for the group, and that's what we're going to do. Thank you. Gentlemen, just behind there, next to Greg. Thank you. You've been waiting a long time. Thank you for your patience. Jacques, to what extent does the defeat bedevil your plans for uh, the Tonga game in terms of selection? Um, no, that's something we will have to discuss. Obviously, uh, a victory would have taken a lot of pressure off us in terms of uh, team selection, and we maybe can rotate a little bit. But in saying that, we also have... I think 13 or 12 days before we then go into a quarterfinal. So you don't al also want to be too cold going into that game. So it was always, we weren't sure how we were going to go uh, in terms of team selection, uh, which we tell the players. Uh, but we will have a good proper look in, a, at Tonga and see what, what threats they bring. Um, and, and then we will, we will do a team selection that we think will be good enough to, to combat them. Thank you. I think coming to the last question, please. Gentleman there, just one second for the translation. Okay, go ahead. Jock and the box still win the World Cup from you. <laughs> <laughs> Indirect, um, yeah, we can still. I mean, in 2019, did you think we can win the World Cup when we lost against New Zealand? And obviously, you have to. We we in this competition to win it, and everybody's in this competition to win it. And uh, teams that lose 
uh, they, a, a game in the pool stages must work hard to get out of the pool. So, so definitely we, we can still win it. I mean, we played against the number one team in the world and uh, we lost by five points. And we had an opportunity in the 79th minute to, to get a result. We didn't. And hats off to Ireland. They were better than us on the night. And, and, and that is the bottom line. They were better than us to, uh, on the night. But, if that's, uh, but that's the number one team in the world. And we're the number two team in the world. So I think there's very, the margin is very small. And if we, we will have to work harder at the stuff that we weren't good at. And uh, if we can fix that. And we you always need a little bit of luck. If we can fix that and we have a little bit of luck, uh, we can win the World Cup, yeah. Thank you very much for your time this evening. We've run out of time. We have uh, Ireland coming in next. Um, thank you very much for your time. And uh, we'll carry on with the next press conference shortly. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.